Hey guys, welcome to my niche web design agency blueprint. Guys, I'm busy making a course on how to actually start a website design agency from nothing for beginners and take it to potentially $250,000 in the first year because that's what I've done. So I want to shortcut you all the way through. So I'm going to give you everything you're going to need um, to do that. And I'm just going to YOLO straight through this. So you'll see, we'll kind of figure it out as we go. But, um, yeah, this is for someone that knows nothing about website design is what this first, um, step is going to be about. It's going to be about what software to use, how to set up your hosting and how to build your first website. So it's going to take you through all of this stuff really, really, really quickly and get you from where you want to, from where you are right now to where you want to be in as short a time as possible. Um, one thing that I'm going to say for this course is that it's definitely not for the weak of heart because because of the shortcuts you're going to take, it means that you're going to put yourself out there quite a bit, but you're going to learn a lot um, through the process. So keep that in mind. There's a slow way to do things, slow and steady and safe. But um, with this one, you jump straight into the deep end and we can start charging for your websites immediately on step two. Okay, here we go. Before um, I get started and jump into it, I just want to show you the numbers because, uh, you know, I've done it myself and I now run a full-fledged website design agency, a niche website design agency, which makes the most amount of money. Um, so we can see year to date and we've only really been in business for like a year and a few months. Um, here we go. So we only really started around November. Right now it's December. So if I say year to date. I've done about 200,000 pounds, that's like $250,000, um, somewhere near that. Um, so yeah, I've done it, you can do it. I'll show you exactly how I've done it. This is the step-by-step. -step. Let's start with step one. All right, let's start with step one. What software to use and how to use it? So right now I am using SiteGround. Here we go. So I personally use SiteGround. I found it super easy. You can literally deploy your website like this and it's really, 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 really cheap. Um, it starts at $3.99 a month. So if you buy a year up front, it's only $50 for the entire year. So this is a really, really, really good um, deal because it's just so easy and you also get a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, I can give you an extra 30 day, uh, three months on the house if you use my link. I really don't mind if you use my link. I honestly don't care. I just want you to get there as quick as possible. So um, I might drop some affiliate links just to the softwares that I use. But um, yeah, you don't even have to click them. I really don't care. I use these softwares, so that's why I don't mind dropping you the links. Also, you get some stuff for free. Okay, bang, there we go. So this is the referral link. I'll, I'll share this document in the description of this video so that you can actually click these links and you know do everything you need to do. But uh, let's do this first. So now I clicked on the link and I'm heading over to SiteGround. Then what we do is we view plans, right? Um, once I view plans, then we go to startup, we click get plan. You can see it's a massive discount. It's always super duper cheap. Um, and then we say get plan is what we wanna do. Boom, click get plan. Um, now this is where you wanna register a domain. Personally, I like to register my domains on domains.google.com. They're cheaper. They're like 10 bucks a month. Um, you'll see if you get a free domain with any other website hosting provider, they usually screw you because then it's the second year is really expensive. That's why domains.google is the best, which you can literally find at domains.google.com. But if you're brand new into this and you don't really know how to set up domains, then maybe just you know, take the hit and um, buy a domain over here. Or, you know, you could say, I already have a domain. This part doesn't really matter too much. You could just say, use your future domain, say, I already have a domain. You could say, this is my domain.com. Or, you know, potentially whatever the agency name is you want to use for your agency. Then you just hit proceed. And once you've done that, you, you just complete the checkout. You complete this whole thing and you put in your card details and you complete the checkout. So it's going to bill you for $47, uh, which is actually $57, including the tax. Bang, bang. And then once you've done that, you will then have a SiteGround account that you can, you know, create a, a instant WordPress website on. So I'm going to log into my SiteGround real quick and show you how to do that. Okay, so I've just logged into my SiteGround. Let's click websites. Um, this is where it will show all of your websites. So these are these are my websites that are currently in development. You can see that I have a ton. I've got like two servers. What you want to do is you want to click new website. Um, you'll select the plan that you've selected. So I'm just going to select one of these. 
let's go yeah this one's good and then um, you know what you can do is you don't even have to use an existing or a new domain you can say temporary domain so we like to work on temporary domains while we're building the website then we don't need to buy the domain we can always just buy the domain later and literally with one click uh, make the website go live on the new domain so we will then hit continue we'll select start a new website like this we'll use WordPress um, you'll put in your username and password over there let me do this right now okay cool so I've done that bang and now we're going to get started so you don't have to you don't have to buy this thing don't click add it doesn't really matter just hit finish um, cool let's go so now we're just gonna wait two minutes for the for it to complete the website creation. Previously, guys, what you, have, you what you used to have to do, and I did this back in the day, is you would buy a hosting. Then you would take WordPress and you would put it on the, the hosting's server, and then you would point the domain to that server, to that file. Then you would navigate to the WordPress file manually in the browser, and then you would go to the WordPress file, then you would set up WordPress manually. This shortcuts the entire process and it creates the WordPress for you um, and then it instantly logs you in so you can just go to the temporary domain and log in or log into your SiteGround account and one click log in to your website. While that goes goes ahead and loads, I just want to explain to you real quick how I managed to get to this point where we made 200,000. Um, well, you know, honestly, we I sold my first website for like $750, right? So... Um, you know, now I sell my websites for seven thousand five hundred dollars. So it's literally ten times more, and it's because I've niched down. But the first step is to learn how to do website design. Once you know how to do website design, I'm going to teach you how to sell the website design for money. And then what I'm going to teach you to do is, once you've sold one, I'm going to teach you how to niche down and then start selling them for more and more and more. And then once you've done that, I'm going to show you how to build a team so that they can build the websites for you. And all you need to do is uh, sell and build brand and figure out how to bring new business in through different ads or whatever you want to do but that's honestly how I've done it I'm not even running any ads it's all just coming through me because I'm in a niche cool we're still waiting for this thing to load okay bang so it's loaded so you can view your website which will just take you to the temporary domain just like this um, you'll see bang that's literally just the default installation of WordPress it's ugly it doesn't look good you can also just log into the back end um, you can actually log into your website um, so with that one click now it's gonna log me in as an admin so you will see that this is what WordPress looks like once you've logged into a brand new fresh install of WordPress and bang we've made it so now we've logged into your website um, as simple as that uh, here we go so now we've got a WordPress website installed and ready to go now it's all about learning how to actually use WordPress okay so personally I would recommend Elementor and I found the perfect tutorial for you this this seems to be the best tutorial um, you know I actually I personally use Divi the Divi theme but um, I think Elementor is it's it's easier and it's also free, so you can just go ahead and use this. He will show you how to do everything um, from the point that I just got you to. So from this point, he's going to show you how to actually build the website, um, you know, and you know, build a completely new website using the themes, using the drag and drop, and actually be able. So by the end of this video, you will have you will be able to build your own website. Cool. So please watch this video, follow along, learn from it, and then when you're ready, just continue watching this video. Okay, and you're back. So now you've learned how to use uh, the WordPress, um, you know, Elementor page builder. You should have been you should have been able to install it, select a theme, build your own website um, if you wanted to. That now you know how to do it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get you to build your first website. Now what I really really recommend in this case is to build a website for a client for free. So instead of building it for yourself, build it for a client because now you're going to be held accountable for completing it and you'll also get some experience consulting. So this is what we're going to do. Step one, what we want to do is we want to find a free client. Guys, the way that we do this is the following. 
Okay, so we want to find a free client. This is the easiest thing to get and this is how you're going to like, this is how you're going to make a lot of money a lot quicker by working for free. So let's find a, a, a free client. The first thing that you want to do is leverage your current circle. What a lot of people are afraid to do and that's why I say this is a bit of a daring course. What a lot of people are, are afraid to do is they're, they're afraid to burn their list. They're afraid to like disappoint the people that you know know them already but that's what's going to kickstart you into you know learning how to do this you just really need to put your, yourself out there so let's leverage your friends and family so go on to instagram post the story you know speak on your story make a make a visual post using the text say hey um i just did a website design course and i'd like to do my first website design for a business for free 100 percent free there's no catch um, I'm just looking for experience. Message me if you're interested, right? So post this on Facebook, post this on your Instagram, get your mom to post it on Facebook, go into different Facebook groups in your local area, post it there also. Um, you know, what really works well is if you're willing to jump on the camera on selfie mode, step outside if you don't like the way that it looks in your house, you know, and if, you're, if your selfie mode is a, is a bad quality camera, use your actual camera on the front and turn it pointing to you and make a video like that outside it will look really really good and it's also going to be an opportunity for you to step outside of your element and you know to be uncomfortable for a second because that's what you need to do to make this business grow now i promise you someone's going to reach out to you and say hey yes make a website for me and that's when we move on to step two Okay, cool. Now we're on the consultation part. Now you've got someone that wants you to make a website for them for free. Now we need to consult them. This is super easy, but a lot of people get it wrong. What you want to do is you want to meet with them either on phone call or on a Zoom. Say, cool, yes, let's jump on, let's jump on a Zoom like right now. Let's jump on a phone call right now. Let's jump on a Zoom a little later today. Oh, you can't make later today? Let's jump on a Zoom tomorrow. But book that Zoom in. There's no excuses. Get on that Zoom. Introduce yourself. Tell them why you're doing this. Um, and then the number one lesson is don't speak about yourself. This isn't, you know, when you sell a website and you're doing it in a two call close, even though this is free, this is still a two call close because we're going to do the consultation, then the proposal and the proposal is basically just the strategy. What you want to do is you want to find out as much information from them as possible. So before you even jump into what website are you looking for, say, you know, for me to be able to help you better, I'm going to need to understand your business. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions? They're going to say, yes, of course. Then ask them the juicy questions, you know, Ask them about their business. What is their business? How does it work? How long have they been doing business? How much money have they made in the last year? And then why do they need a website? They will answer all these questions, say, great, thank you so much for your information. Um, what I'd like to do now is I would like to you know, start figuring out what kind of website you're looking for so that I can then go home and strategize and put a strategy together and then present that to you before I build it. So could you please give me an idea of what you're looking for? Now, at this point, they will have let you know, um, you know, what they're looking for. They're looking for a homepage to display some information. Take the notes down, write everything down. If you even can record the call, that works really great too, especially if you're selling high ticket. You really want to be recording the call so you can watch the recording and go back and then, you know, really do your research properly and do a, a proper strategy, especially when you do the proposal. Um, but in this case, we can just write it down as we go along. And then um, if you feel confident based on everything that they've said, immediately you can just give them the proposal on the call say hey okay give me one to two weeks to build this website for you you know if you're feeling audacious you can honestly do this website in a week but um say hey give me one to two weeks to build this website for you and then i'll get back to you on and then give them a date and then at that point you 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 build the website on elementor on site ground right as i've shown you as you've learned in the tutorial um, and according to what they're looking for don't go crazy with functionality keep it basic keep it a brochure website but then uh, then after two weeks then you 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 show it to them and you say hey here here you go here is your website do you like it and then um, you know they'll say yes or no there might be some revisions but there you go you will have then consulted your first client you'll have found a free client consulted your first client done a proposal and then also done the build for your website so it's really that simple we don't have to overcomplicate the process that's how we're going to get the ball rolling really 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 quick so leverage your 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 network start becoming that guy it's okay you're not going to be the website guy forever but you're on a mission to figure out how to make money online and website design makes a lot of money online um there we go that's step one 
Um, okay, last thing that I wanted to mention is that if you're if you have you know um, done the website and you're ready to go live with the client's website, this is this is what we can do. Let me show you how to get that domain live real quick. I'm just gonna log in. Okay, boom, I've logged in, I've clicked websites, now I'm gonna, then I'll see the website, then you can just go change primary domain, and then you can just put the new domain in there, like, and you'll say yourclientswebsite.com, and then yourclientswebsite.com, and then hit confirm. And then what you're gonna need to do is just go to the domain wherever the domain is hosted, and point the A records to the IP address of this uh, domain. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and click confirm. So now I've confirmed it, right? And now I'm going to head over to like domains.google. But truly, buying a domain anywhere is the same. You just want to go to the DNS records. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so domains.google. Cool. Now it says the domain is ready. We've just changed the, the domain like that. So now we can hit websites and we can actually go to the site tools to the back end of this website so that we can get the IP address so we know what IP address to point this website to. Okay, here we go. So um, here we go, this is, this is the back end dashboard. There we go, I just reloaded the page. This is the back end dashboard. We'll see when we scroll down, it shows site's IP. There we go, so that's the site's IP address, just like that, you wanna copy that. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and manage any of the domains, like digitalmastery.agency is a domain that I have for one of my first web design agencies before I started to niche down. So then we go over to DNS, right? I head over to DNS just like this, right? Once I'm at DNS, I can see all the DNS records. So I wanna manage the DNS records. So what you'll do in this case is you'll create a new record and then you'll just say it's an A type record and then you put the IP address in over there and over here, you don't even have to put anything, you can just hit save. So that will then add that A record, so that domain will then point to that website server um, and so it will, everything will work fine. As long as the domain that you've selected matches up on the site ground account, like if it's yourclientswebsite.com and the domain you're trying to edit is yourclientswebsite.com and you point it to that, it will work perfectly fine. Um, so there we go. Then you then you refresh the page on yourclientswebsite.com and then it will actually load the, the, the website that you have directly on SiteGround. It's that simple. Cool. So at this point, you will then have, you know, you understand what software to use and how to use it, where to host the website and how to host it and how to build it and launch your first website. Perfect. That's great. You can actually go ahead and keep doing that once or twice, um, you know, to learn some more. But I think... At this point, once you've built one website, let's start selling websites and it's going to be a lot easier now that you've actually already built one. So um, I'll see you in step two. Thank you very much.